How y'all doing? Uh, I, I would love to fit in with everybody and say uh, grand rising, peace, love, and life, and everything else. But I don't have to tell you that. Apparently, everybody tell you that. Uh, today, what I want to do, man, I want to come to y'all and share a little information I got last night. I can't share everything. I won't share everything. But I'm going to share enough to make you think. A lot of people are jumping on this conscious waves. It's making it a trend. And they're not really doing the work to do what they need to do. A lot of people don't understand what they're signing up for when they call themselves conscious or trying to get into this. But uh, first off, let me tell you what you what you signing up for. You are signing up to be part of God's army. For the indigenous people to take back the land. That's what you signed up for, whether you know it or not. And then I want to say, you got to learn to pick your battles. Because the battle with self and the ego is the first battle. It's just the first battle. You got to battle with ego just to understand what you're doing. After you done fighting with ego, you gotta go to soul. And you gotta learn your soul and tame your soul. So there's two steps to it. Then the third step after that, you have to figure out who is your real enemy and what your enemy is and what your purpose is. And a lot of people don't understand because a lot of people don't do work. Uh, I'm, I'm a credit the ones that I see this out here now and that's brother yourself and Mook those are the two that I know for sure is doing what they need to do because everything they have resonate with me and I personally have went through experiences to get to where I'm going uh, but after you find soul and you can tame your soul and get yourself together you have to, you got to find out your enemy and the purpose here. And last night, you know, I was talking to God because I got a problem in the house. <laughs> so I talked to God about the problem. And God started feeding me in some shit. And he told me some shit, but I can't tell, I can't tell y'all exactly what. But what I can tell you is, he wants you to think about this. Because we fighting a battle with some powerless beings or from what we think we fighting the people who we think are against us they really powerless they the powerless ones and when you think about that and you really think the white man has no power his only power is the money Who has the power in the world then? And when I think about that, I say, ooh. Mmm. He say, man, what's the most advanced race? I say, damn. He say, see, people don't even know what they talking about. They never gave the white man a chance. Cause they never thought for themselves. Never gave a white man a chance. When really he being tricked too. Everybody out here trying to get it how they live. <laughs> Everybody's trying to get it how they live. It's a dog eat dog world. And everybody had them, but now it's my time to get me. <laughs> and let my people shine. And when I say my people, I mean the one, the ones who's been doing the work. Because the work shows. It shows. You know? And a lot of people don't understand what their soul is or how to get their soul or what, what, what. I found my soul at a young age. <laughs> really, I didn't even find it. 
I had to learn the hard way that I had a soul. My mama told me not to go outside that day. She told me when I come home from school to go in the house and stay in the house. Me, myself, I always go against what people say, except for self. I'm like brother yourself. <laughs> he say, you tell me not to go, I'm going to go. I got to go see what's in there. I'm going to go check this shit out. I got to see what you telling me to stay away from. And why? Just because it's your problem don't mean it's my problem. You feel me? So she told me to stay in the house and I didn't listen. I went against the grain. And I went against the grain for probably about an hour. <laughs> it wasn't even that long. Probably about, I lasted probably about 45 minutes. And on my way home, I got hit by a car. And I died. I remember the outer body experience. I remember going to God and God sending me back. And told me I was on a mission. So since seven years old, I actually have been conscious to the point to know I was on a mission. I didn't know what it was. But then I start taking losses really and that's what really got to me was losing family members losing friends and I learned how to do music I learned how to write a song and express myself and that started it all that started it all music is my soul I have a tattoo that I got back in 2014 Back when I had uh, a woman who said she's a prophet from God tell me that my that I was going to be rich with the music. Either it was going to be a curse or a blessing. I had already, I, all my life since I started, I always said I was going to get rich with the music because that's what I like to do, express myself. I love the way I sound over the beats. I love it. So I got music is life tattooed on me. <laughs> I've been back and forth to the menstrual institutions. My last trip was probably about a week and a half ago. And you know, I, I go in there and I have fun. It don't hurt me, nothing hurts me. Jail didn't hurt me, nothing. I overcame all that. So I go in there and I have fun because when I go, I know God sent me in there for a reason to learn something. It's a lot of things that I know how to do that I still haven't learned how to control all of them. So brother yourself, you know, that's what that's about, man. But I, I still haven't learned how to control everything. But I learned stuff. And this last time around, you know, they was trying to actually stick my ass in there. And God put me in a room with people so I could be able to talk. And the more I talked, I figured out what God was trying to tell me. It was a dude in there with me and I was talking to him. I helped him. The psychiatrist couldn't help him. But I helped him before the psychiatrist get to him. So he already knew it was a game, but he was already in too deep. So he had to go on and play alone. But uh, I was talking to a dude, and he was saying he'd he be hearing music in his ears and shit and in his head. And, and then he'd be hearing the words practice, practice. When he said that, that was God talking to me. So I start practicing. I'm, I started thinking about what is he saying. Practice, practice, practice. And then they, they drug me up and shit, tied me down to the bed, had me, you feel me? So I'm, 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 I'm sitting here and I'm thinking the whole time. I done passed out, went to sleep, but I'm thinking, what is God trying to get me to do? The whole time he was telling me practice, how to get out. So the more I talk to people, the more I talk to the dude, I know I'm being watched in the hospital. The more I talk to him and the nurse who was entertaining me because they, they believe the shit, because they deal with it. The more I talk, the, the faster them people's trying to get me out of there and get me upstairs. It's the first floor, the third floor, then the 10th floor. You make it to the 10th floor, you stuck there. They gonna make you take the medicine. I didn't been there once. But God told me I was going there and I had to stay there and how long I was gonna stay there. And so I knew. I got out on Martin Luther King Day, 2017. <laughs> it was hella crazy because he was telling me that's when I was gonna get out. So I just stuck to that and didn't worry about nothing. I go in there and go do what I'm doing. Y'all can't stop me from talking. But this time around, they, 
they trying to get me so I go from the first floor to the third floor. No problem. I like it. Third floor is easy to me because I do the same thing. Walk around talking shit. I drive them. But I'm learning how to use telepathic skills because they devils. It's, the shit is hella crazy. But then I go back to thinking what God wanted me to do. And God told me to start rapping my music. Every time I rap the song, something happened. I see a some I see a change. I see something change. Then I got I got to my song good enough. And when I sung good enough, it was time to go. <laughs> it was time to go. But then when it was time to go, them people tried to they tried to play me talking about my blood pressure and shit. I don't take y'all medicine, so I'm not going to be what you want me to be. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to be what you want me to be. Everybody else is out here taking lean. They, they drinking the syrup. They taking all this shit that bumps their heart beat down and shit. I'm not the type of dude, man. I pop me an X pill. I, I smoke me some weed. I want to do shrooms. But all that other shit, <laughs> if it ain't psychedelic, I ain't trying to fuck with it. I always look at the hippies. I know I'm a hippie on the inside. If it ain't psychedelics, I ain't fucking with it. I'm trying to get close to God. Y'all tripping. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they try to monitor with the medicine and shit. And because I don't monitor like them, they try to tell me something wrong with me. No, ain't nothing wrong with me. This is normal to me. You ain't around me every day. Oh, your temperature, 99.8. Hey, who fought? That's what God did. Oh, and then I just thought about that. 99.8. That's 18 plus 8. 20. Hold on. 18. See, I, I'm not. I can do numbers. But I don't like them in my head. I like to see them. If I was looking at them, it would be, it'd be way different. So, 20. Six that ends up at eight. That shit be crazy. <laughs> that shit be crazy. But uh you know, I just wanted to come on here and let y'all know a little bit and update y'all because I, I still go through it. You know, and I I I got an ego, but my ego not in the way of nothing. It's the fact that God told me I can't do nothing. The people have to do it. I can't do it. I know I can't do this alone. I've been trying. I can do it. I'm doing it. But if the people don't want this shit, then what the fuck am I stressing myself for? I'm going to sit back and wait. They want me to push myself and, and hurt myself, but I'm still learning. And I learned something else. So I need all all the energy I could get. You see what I'm saying? You want my energy? I want I want to give you my energy, but I want to reciprocate it. And this is probably gonna be the only way for a long time because of everything that I've been through. You know, I get with my with my soul family and we'll get together and, and do what we gotta do. But as far as the public, I've been poor for damn near three years now. Everybody wants something from God. What about God? Who looking out for God? Because all I got in the end is God. And God lead me to do this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But see, even with everything that I deal with, I don't hate nobody. I'm going to end this video and I'm going to tell y'all I love y'all, man. We'll get it together sooner or later. We got time. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you how much time. But I love y'all, man. Be easy.